guys. Pluke Jones coming at you with the video. I have an item here that is um, very beautiful. Uh, it is positioned uh, from top down when I'm recording this video. So you're not going to be able to get the true look of actually what this looks like while it's standing up, which is like this. And I will include a photo with this video and show you a picture of how this thing actually stands. This item right here is designed by Ivan Gostev over at Compaform. And uh, just to tell you a little bit about this piece, this piece actually represented uh, Ivan Gostev at the Mad Russian Evening Gala, which took place in, I believe it was December uh, 2023. And uh, Ivan also had a, a few other EDC items that he created. I believe the V3 was there. A uh, couple knives, I think it was a shard V2. Uh, and then he also had, um, what other samples did he have? He had a coin and um, something else I can't remember. But this was kind of the main piece where Ivan won an award for the best EDC maker. Now this piece is in solid titanium. And let's just go over the pieces one by one. This piece does have some functionality that I will get into. But uh, in my opinion, this piece right here, uh, again, represented Compaform at the Mad Russian Evening Gala, where there's uh, EDC makers and knife makers from all over the world who come to that uh, competition and compete for best, uh, you know, best categories, EDC. Uh, knife makers are there, all the professional people in the industry that do CNC and make uh, special products in that um, area. And they come from all over the world. It's not just Russians who are involved um, in the Mad Russian Evening Gala. So uh, this piece right here doesn't really have a name. It's funny, what this piece really reminds me of is the, um, the Hellraiser box or cube that some of you might be familiar with if you are familiar with the movie and i'm gonna go grab that because i have one hold on all right so this is the puzzle box from the movie hellraiser and this is done in solid brass. It is lacquered and is so cool, very beautiful. It doesn't function, and I wish it did, but it's such a beautiful piece to just kind of leave on your desk. And this is kind of what this reminds me of. Really, really, really cool. But uh, enough of this. Let's get that out of the way. Um, so this piece is magnetic, and it comes with a base and is solid titanium. Both this cube is magnetic. This is also magnetic, the top. And this is the base. This is the bottom of the base. And it is etched and lasered in titanium. The edges are all welded together. The magnets inside, Compaform signature weld by a microscope. And it's also got its proprietary, I keep hitting the camera, proprietary uh, scratch resistant process that Ivan uses on all his products. And just look at that. It's bluish purple, so it's purple. And when you turn it to the side, that purple really shows. I don't know if it's going to come out on camera that well, but it's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so that is the base. That is the bottom that rests on the desk. And I do consider this desk art. So this would be like a desk art, even though it is a little bit functional. To me, it's more of a desk piece, one of a kind, the only one made, and was made by Ivan Gostev. Each uh, facet of the cube is beautifully done and etched in laser and almost gives this like snowflake pattern. And then the sides, look at that. This whole cube was actually um, welded together by microscopes so that you cannot see any of the facets in the magnetic parts in this cube which is absolutely fascinating. Just to know how much time and effort went into this, Ivan told me that, you know, a piece like this takes, you know, 
over 100 hours to make, I believe. And if I'm incorrect, correct me if I'm wrong, Ivan, but I believe you said something like this can take in excess of 100 hours or more to create, which is absolutely um, fascinating when it comes to know, you know, how much time and effort was involved in this. And the edges are just so beautiful, the, ge the geometry in this. Like if you look at the edges really close, you will see how perfect they are and how this was machined and put together. It is the same pattern on each of the facets. Really, really cool. And then we have the top piece, which is really, really unique. It's got these facets and it's like um, three dimensional. It's very deep on the edges. And then the middle piece is actually protruded outwards. I wish you guys could, I hope you guys can see it rather. And it's in this really light, like bluish purple. Turn it to the side, it turns blurple. And it's so beautiful. Again, the sides are laser welded, or excuse me, yeah, laser, I believe by laser, they're welded by microscope. Ivan actually has to look through a mic microscope and weld these pieces shut to encase the magnets. And if you'll notice, there's um, a chamfered edge here, chamfering here and here, and then all along the top, it's chamfered in all these geometrical shapes. Absolutely incredible. And then the top plate on the, actually the bottom plate on the top piece is your um, signature puddle, puddle warp where it gives the waves of a puddle like a rock being thrown in a puddle. Very cool, beautiful. So yeah, this is the piece that's desk art by Compaform, and I don't think it has a name. So, um, you know, again, I don't know too much about this piece, but I do know that it's one of a kind and it did represent Compaform, and I think someone would be very, very lucky to own this. So we are auctioning this off right now, and the post that you see right now is an auction. So please read the, count, the uh, post in its entirety to make sure that you understand the rules, uh, when you're expected to pay, and how payment method can be made for this piece. So to show you a little bit about the functionality, what I like to do if I play with this, is I like to hold it in one hand and just push it forward. And then it rotates, okay? All right, so this piece kind of moves around like the Clover V2. So it is functional. Um, is it considered a fidget? Probably not for me. It might be for you, but um, it is functional and it does move around, bottom and top. And it's really unique. It's really unique in that Compaform made it and it's one of a kind and uh, you'll never see another one like it. I know that. So it is functional, all pieces are magnetic, and you can stand it up on its base like this. I think it's this way maybe. Um, there's a specific way you gotta do it. There you go, and it just kinda floats out there on its base like that. And I know you really can't see it from top down, but if I turn it to the side, it floats just like that. Really, really cool, functional, and it almost functions like the clover, you know? I mean, it's got that top piece, but it's flat. It doesn't have the ball on the end. Is it a fidget? Probably not, but, you know, it's enjoyable. You can play with it. It's kind of neat. I like it. So this is the cube that we're auctioning right now, and I'm gonna start the price at 200 bucks. And uh, this is all of the information that I have on this thing. 
So someone who is very lucky will get a chance to own a piece of Compaform history made by Ivan Gostev, who is the owner of Compaform. Just to give you a little information about our pre-orders, we're finishing up the Tesseract. And once we are done with Tesseract, we do not know what we're going to make yet, but we probably will be coming out with either a new product or we might be releasing an older product for you guys. So stay tuned to the group for all the updates and we will keep you informed. We have some new and exciting stuff coming up. All the money from this piece will go to benefit the maker as usual. And uh, we appreciate all your love and support. And I wish you the best luck in um, winning this piece. This piece also does come with the signature poker chip from Ivan Gostev. And uh, it doesn't come with a box. This box is actually from a Tesseract that uh, I own. So minus the box, you get this piece right here, and you get the poker chip. Wish everyone good luck, and thank you for supporting Compaform.